performers are pretty much defined by Hollywood these days. They have little choice but to adjust to what everybody thinks is true to them and have learned to simply nod at whatever nonsense they have to endure. This video runs through programmer stereotypes. Be careful to listen closely for the category you fall into. The Early Adapter This programmer has an extreme fear of missing out. His only progasms come from new tech and if you check his junk, you find a lot of stuff you could probably use. In his workstation, you will find everything from the latest iPhone to the sleekest curved monitor available on Amazon. You shouldn't be surprised if you also find a Tesla in their garage, because they plan to be the living example of the programmer's version of the American dream. The Minimalist This is the guy that writes programs he is utterly afraid of. He is probably behind the nasty cookie that siphons your credit card information on the internet and will not use browsers to avoid falling victim. He is also very afraid of hackers and turns his cyber head over his shoulder every millisecond. He uses a Linux computer, hates Siri, Alexa, and all the other hogwash, and would rather trek to the bank than risk having his money eaten on the internet. If you're thinking he's also on the FBI watch list, that is probably right because he never stops thinking of the government when he writes his code. The Hipster this one is easily the most fashionable of the lot. He does not have that boge quality of the early adapter, but that doesn't mean he isn't afraid to go wild. You might find him at a bar with craft beer trickling lazily down his beard and could even offer you a ride on his bike if you seem interested enough. He does not have an issue with terrific colors and you might discover from looking at the grotesque to extraordinarily satisfying sticker on his laptop. Unlike your conventional idea of a programmer, the hipster will derive great pleasure from lighting up your party. Don't forget to send that invite. The intro word. If your typical idea of a programmer is some skinny guy in spectacles who will squirm visibly when you talk to him, you have landed right on the introvert. His light source is that glare from computer screens, and if he could do without that also, he'd absolutely be happy to work in the dark. He does not enjoy going outside and would rather spend his entire day on video games. Try to avoid walking up to him at lunch because you might end up chatting with yourself. The Hacker The hacker is the very secretive programmer who can absolutely not breathe a word about his job. His wardrobe is full of hoodies he wears in dark rooms with an extra bottom drawer for scary masks. He uses a terminal interface pretty much all the time, but if you think he's a regular you will run into on the streets, then you can't be more misinformed. The Lazy Developer the lazy developer has an exclusive membership at the Institute of Smart Programmers. He spends little time doing the actual boring work of writing code as he has Stack Overflow to copy from. He's also the king of automation and will often champion the movement for getting machines to do everything for humans. He's also generally considered as one of the best programmers around because he leverages everything from social interaction skills to creating an alternative income source that will help him retire early. And of course he's also likely to have more money than you for all these reasons. The Devluencer Right here is the talkative of programmers. His job involves little other than recording videos of basic code and hyping it up on Twitter for the world to see. He shows his love for inspiring others to learn programming by replying quickly to comments under their posts and referring you to learning resources for questions he cannot answer. We suggest you to think of him more as a video editor than an actual savant on programming. The Wizard The Wizard is the ultimate repository of programming languages. He knows code that you have never been able to understand in your two decades as a developer and can deconstruct abstraction to its most basic level. He's called Wizard because he is a descendant of an ancient race of sorcerers and can enchant computers to do everything except what you ask them to do. The most you have to do with code written by this person is implement that with zero questions because you won't have any. They also have an odd tendency to mirror their quaint origins by playing wizard in LARP sessions in the woods. The Unicorn This is the programmer you're certain to be jealous of. They are distant relatives of the wizard without that magical bloodline and extremely fast at delivering projects on the team. They are also super smart, mouth-watering good at mathematics, plus they have an ability to casually make you feel inferior without meaning to. You're not alone in trying to demsify them as they are absolutely creatures of legend. Do we need to mention that they are more likely to get a raise than you? The manager. We'll give this one some credit by admitting he knows a little programming, but beyond that his main qualification is simply his robust expertise in dictatorship. He does little other than give orders from the pits of hell, disagreeing with his betters, who also happen to be his unlucky subordinates, and strutting around in a tailored suit. He spends most of his time in meetings making decisions about software he knows little about. The Living Legend 
The living legend is the relatively obscure character who wrote the software you think you're an expert with. He started programming long before you were born, and can narrate entire histories of languages that you probably never heard about. He also happens to look a lot like the famous Dumbledore in Harry Potter, with all the understanding wisdom that comes with it. He is Messer Storstrup, Goslin, Van Rossum, Wall, Lurdoff, and Brendan Eich. Which of these categories do you fall into? Leave your thoughts and comments in the section below.